1998, the weather caused mayhem. Peru in March. The worst floods in half a century. They blamed El Nino, the Peruvian name for the phenomenon that shifted the warm waters of the Pacific. In Indonesia, they blamed El Nino too, drought and fire. They rounded up the orangutans and took them to safety. Florida, USA, devastation from the deadliest tornadoes on record. March in northern Brazil saw the country's biggest ever firefighting operation. In the Philippines, the drought stretched into its ninth month. May in India, 1,300 died in record high temperatures. The Mediterranean was on fire, Greece in July. And on the island of Cyprus, readings of over 40 degrees Celsius for eight days running. In August, much of Bangladesh was transformed into an enormous lake. 19 million people were affected. World Food Program launched its largest ever aid effort. In September, the winds again with even greater power. Hurricane George roared through the Caribbean. And then in October, in Central America, the most cataclysmic event of all. Hurricane Mitch had swept through with winds of almost 300 kilometers per hour. In just six hours, it deluged the region with a staggering 63 centimeters of rain. The results were apocalyptic. Huge mudslides, raging torrents. Across Nicaragua, Honduras, and Guatemala, bridges and roads washed away. Climate experts had promised the world more extreme weather, and this was the result. 20,000 died in the deluge. The cost of the floods in China was astronomic. Along the Yangtze River, a million homes were destroyed or damaged. Only desperate sandbagging saving the industrial city of Wuhan.